Chapter 21, Quinny. The best thing about being at soccer is that no one here knows about the smart list. My brain may not be all that brainy, but my feet feel pretty smart bossing that ball around. I kick and run and dodge and twist past everyone. I bang myself into anyone who comes too close. I am fierce and fast and I am one with the ball. That's something Trevor and Ty like to say, and now I like to say it too. But then Alex Delgado shows up to do a makeup practice. Look who's here, Quinny Dumble. Great, my new nickname. Before it was Big Mouth, then it turned into Big Foot since I'm such a ferocious kicker. Now Alex changed it again, but who had even gave him the right? I know it's not okay to kick a person like Alex in the shins in regular life, but if he gets in my way when I'm on the field, when I'm, and when I'm kicking that soccer ball, it's not my fault, is it? And there's no rule against picturing Alex's face on the ball that I'm about to kick, right? Whack. Look at that ferocious face. I'm super tired after soccer. I used every single muscle inside me and now I'm just a limp noodle. Ty and Trevor thumb wrestle on the way home, but I remember the, the bad stuff from school and close my eyes as Mr. Gray drives. When he turns onto our block, we slow down, which jolts me awake, and I see Hopper sitting on my front steps. He stands up when he sees me. I thank Mr. Gray and walk up my driveway to our back door. Quinny, wait, Hopper walks after me. I have a surprise for you. That's not fair. He knows I can't resist surprises. Fine, what is it? But make it quick because I just want to go inside and be slumpy. Hopper leads me back to his house and into his kitchen where there is a table set for a make your own pizza party with a gazillion bowls of toppings and balls of squishy dough and uh, fluffs of flour and plates and big jug of strawberry lemonade, which mom never lets me have because I'm already too hyper. One of those topping bowls is full of pickles. Another is full of crumbled bits of bacon. Pickles and bacon are my two favorite things to have, two favorite things about having a tongue. Coconut snowball cookies are a close number three. Hopper had a different pizza party earlier this fall, but I missed that pizza party. Long story. Now's my chance. I squish the dough and spoon the sauce into my onto it and load my pizza with yellow cheese and white cheese and green peppers and red peppers and mushrooms and olives and of course bacon. I saved the pickles for when the pizza's already cooked. Wait, Hopper, you know what would make this pizza party even more perfect? Uh, no. Wait here, I'll be right back. I come back to the pizza party with Crescent in his little guinea pig pouch. Miss Gray, can I borrow some red peppers? They're Crescent's favorite vegetable. Sure thing, Quinny, but we have a house rule, no rodents at the table. That's not a fair rule if you ask me, but I mind my manners. Sorry, Miss Gray, I forgot to ask if Crescent was invited to the pizza party. Apology accepted, she says. Let's do a pizza picnic in the hall, says Hopper. Well, that boy is full of good ideas. We spread a beach towel in the hall, which makes me think of summer, even though it's November. I sniff that towel. The beautiful smell of chlorine reminds me I want to go swimming again. I definitely need to work on my cannonball. The pizza comes out of the oven all bubbly and crispy, and I chomp a big bite. I give Crescent some crust and his blurry little mouth does some super speedy munching. <laughs> Quinny, take it easy. You don't want to choke, says Hopper. And there they are, chewing away. <laughs> I take a breath and chew more carefully. My tummy feels so happy and relaxed. But then when my plate is finally empty, it hits me. The pizza is all gone, but my math homework is still there waiting in my backpack. <sighs> well, thanks for the pizza, I tell Hopper, but I better go home and do some math since I'm such a dummy at school. Quinny, stop saying that. You are not dumb. Tell that to the quiz I flunked. And did you know I have to start going to Miss Jasani in Math Lounge? So lots of people go there. Miss Jasani is really nice. Dad said going to Math Lounge will be good for me. He said it'll be like my own private math class. But who in the world would ever want their own private math class? It doesn't matter anyway, because my report card will still be full of F minuses. There's no such thing as an F minus, says Hopper. And report cards won't come out for a long time. You don't know what your grades will be. 
Yes, I do. School is always hard for me and my report card is never too fantastic. I didn't ever tell Hopper that before because I didn't want him to think I was a big giant dodo head. I'm wobbly at math, but even at reading, I'm not so hot. I'm a fantastic reader when it comes to picture books, of course. I read those out loud to my sister a lot, or at least I used to before I started doing so much soccer. But the problem is that thicker books without pictures make me hungry by the time I get to page eight or nine, even if there's no food in the book. It's the weirdest thing. And believe me, third grade has tons more thicker books without pictures. Plus math that's so fast and so confusing, it might as well be a magic trick. The teachers want us to keep getting smarter and smarter until our heads explode, I guess. Maybe the problem isn't you. Maybe it's the report card, says Hopper. I know, I wish I could just burn that thing up before my parents see it. No, I mean, report cards aren't the only way of being smart. You do stuff, you do stuff every day that's smart. Quinny, like being kind and funny and nice. That stuff isn't on a report card. I roll my eyes at him because those things don't count. Of course they count. Smart is like pizza toppings. There's lots of different flavors, don't you see? You're smart at being with people. Everyone wants to talk to you and play with you and be your partner for projects. You make the pizza more delicious. That's a lot of words Hopper just said, but they don't make much sense to me. Hopper, thank you for saying I'm delicious, but school doesn't really care about pizza or being friendly. They care about grades and homework and quizzes. I can help you with your homework. Not now, I'm tired from soccer. Plus from eating a whole pizza with six toppings, Crescent helped, but not much. I rub his little ears in his pouch and then we get up. Say bye, Crescent. Thank you. Wait, there's dessert. Hopper gets up too. Mom made lemon bars. Lemon bars? I slump against the wall. Oh no, Hopper, why did you just tell me that? Don't you remember that lemon bars that Izzy brought in for her birthday last month? They were delicious. But that's never going to happen again because my petition to save the cookies is a big giant failure too. Winnie. Goodbye. I'm going home now to be sad under my covers. Quinny, wait, what, what if? Hopper walks across the hall and picks up a book sitting on the table. It's the book we made together last month about his tonsil surgery. I don't know why he's staring at it now. What if I know a way to get Principal Ramsey to change the food rules, he says. What? I laugh at him. No way. I'm serious. Go get that petition and I'll show you.